This video is sponsored by Flux Lasers. Ok, the laser is very well protected and I think it is worth keeping the packaging for when it is necessary to transport it. And now the truth is that the laser waits a bit and I think it would be better if someone helps to move it. Well, before I show the laser, I will show you that they also sent me the rotatory module. When we connect this under the laser, we have to adjust these rollers according to the cylindrical object we put on them. For example, a glass. And we can engrave the cylindrical object with the laser. Also, before I show the laser, they also sent me the flux beam air. This is a filter that we can connect to the ventilation hose of the laser machine. This filter also comes very well packaged. These are the spare parts for the filter. Ok, the flux beam air has two nice handles here. And it also comes with casters. Here we can see the outlet for the filtered air and the sockets for the power cable and for the USB cable. And here the power button and the regulator. If I open this lid, we can see the filter. I already showed the spare parts. And let's see the laser in detail before I make it work. This is the ventilation outlet, the socket for the power cable, one Ethernet port and two USB ports. The power button, a nice touch screen, one box with some tools, and this, we can move this carefully. This is the ventilation hose. The laser is behind there. It is a 30 watts CO2 laser. We'll see it later. It generates a laser beam that is reflected in a mirror that we can find inside there. The laser beam is reflected towards this second mirror, which in turn reflects it towards the laser head. Above the laser head, there is a third mirror that reflects the laser beam into the laser head. And there, inside the laser head, there is a special lens that concentrates the laser beam to about 0.2 mm in diameter. Before using the laser, I bought distilled water. And before turning on the laser, the first thing I will do is check the level in the distilled water tank. So I remove this lid. This is the first mirror that reflects the laser beam. And this is the CO2 laser. In this model it is 30 watts and it generates a laser beam of about 5 mm in diameter. The distilled water goes for the inside of this tube. And here we can find the water tank. This is the screw that we have to remove to insert the funnel and fill the tank. The distilled water level was ok, so I put the lid back on. I connect the ventilation hose. And in case you think it is a short ventilation hose, this stresses a lot.
I connect it to the filter. I connect the power cord and the USB cable. And since it has casters, it is easy to move. I connect the Wi-Fi antenna and the power cord. The USB cable that comes from the beam air filter and the equipment is ready to be plugged in and turned on. But first, I will focus the laser beam for this workpiece. Going from the laser beam of about 5mm in diameter that reaches the mirrors to a laser beam of about 0.2mm in diameter that will reach the workpiece. I move the laser head carefully until it is above the workpiece. I rotate the focus bar downwards until it is vertical. Now I have to loosen the laser head focus ring. And I move down the laser head until the focus bar rests on the workpiece. I tighten the laser head focus ring. And I rotate the focus bar upwards until it is vertical. This way the laser is focused on the workpiece. In this case my workpiece is 5 mm thick. So I turn the filter on. I turn the laser machine on. And the laser head goes to the top left corner. Here we can see the touch screen is on. The manual tells us how to install the software and the software itself will guide us during the installation to connect the computer with the laser. So now let's see how easy this laser is to use. If I click here in the camera and I select an area, I tell the machine to take a picture of the workpiece. Now I could open an image using file open, but I am going to engrave a picture that we can find here in examples. I open the picture. In this case one logo of Vimo laser, I move it to the position I want on top of the workpiece that I want to engrave. I open a new layer. I will call it cut. I use this tool to draw one circle around the logo. I select the first layer and here I tell the laser that it has to engrave this layer in wood. I select the other layer and here I tell the laser that it has to cut this layer in 5mm thick wood. That is the thick of the workpiece. Now I click and drag to change the order of the layers. Like this I tell the laser to first engrave the wood and then cut it. Now I can put the laser to work by clicking here and here. Well, as I told you before, you can find a link in the information of this video and also a discount code that will be active for a while since the upload of this video.
We can also engrave other materials like stone or glass. For example, here I use the rotatory module to engrave a glass. But remember that it is important to read the manual to know with which materials we can work and with which materials we must not work. And also read and follow the safety recommendations. Then what do you think of this laser? I found it very easy to use and I think that I can get a lot out of it, both to improve larger projects, to make some woodworking jigs or to make other projects with wood, glass or stone and other materials. Thanks for watching and if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click the bell to get all the notifications when I upload a new video.